Oh, happy day. It's over on the net. Beat up the planet. And we are beating up Overwatch again. Hopefully, this game had it coming. Um, recommendation for who to play. I mean, whoever. Yes, of some sort, if you want. He, you know, it's just, um, it. Junkie? Yeah, I think yeah. Junkie's good. I was waiting for this other person to choose, and I'll make a choice. Oh, uh, they had. Sorry. I know, but I'm just waiting. Okay, Uh. Okay, then. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay. And we are going through the archive. Blowing it up. Breach it. Damn right. Alright, now we kill waves of dudes. Aw, oh, this isn't an explosive. I beach. assume it's probably a good idea to pull my gun at that. Oh, hi guys. This does feel like payday all of a sudden. Uh, How did they know we were here? Must be a conspiracy. Oh yeah. I told you my number three. Oberon. Or er, Neptune. You're What's over. your number three? <laughs> Uh, you know, I've always liked uh, science fiction. My number three is uh, Area 51. It's, uh, it's a mysterious uh, area full of numbers, and that's it. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people think an alien crash landed there or something, or they don't know what it is, so they're sure it's alien. And that's why they know it's a conspiracy. Which is funny, because... It's very likely actually just was a government test vehicle, plane, whatever of some sort, which you would think would be a good enough conspiracy, but nah, it's gotta be aliens. Yeah. And yeah, they test military weapons all the time. I can see why those would need to be secrets. Yeah. So it's like, yes, like it's... yeah. But lol aliens, I don't know. Come on. I mean, it, gonna... the whole aliens thing uh, did Kill. give us that guy who looks like he's being slowly abducted because of his hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love him. I have done, like, no shielding. That was fun. But uh, it's it's only my number three, the uh, Area 51, because it, it did give uh, a, a rise to a whole industry of cheap roadside souvenirs. I mean, those are pretty cool. And you can go buy your little alien plush, and that's great, you know? Did we Jedi through the door? Good. I mean, it was looks like it was like thermite or something, but sure. Oh, like, what am I stuck on? Roofers. No, didn't they never get through the door? They were just busy, like, poking their lightsabers through it or some shit? Hmm. Not sure. I thought they lightsabered through it. And then they carved so much, so much metal why in are we, Why are we talking about the worst Star Wars movie? Oh, there's a sniper straight ahead. So it's not Empire like, Strikes Back. Speaking of conspiracy theories, my hot take is that... Uh, Indiana Jones Crystal Skull, like, uh, pretty, pretty much better than Temple of Doom at the very least. Fuck Temple of Doom. Uh, I don't know. I've never seen the not a Indiana Jones movie, so I couldn't it really was, tell you. It, it was an India, it felt like an Indiana Jones movie. Uh, I guess people got mad that it was about aliens instead of, you know, literal magic. I, 
Shia LaBeouf makes people angry. <laughs> Wait, it, that was their complaint? It wasn't that's, Shia LaBeouf? That's what LaBeouf. a lot of people I've heard complain about it, say, like, somehow the aliens were what took it over the top. It's like, it's just a 50s pulp instead of, like, a 30s pulp. That's, that's all the difference is. It's, it's the same, like, style. It's... They're, they're Maybe Indiana it's because it reminds them of uh, Cowboys vs. Aliens, and then everyone wanted to leave. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Uh, there you go. Gotta be like one of the worst goddamn movies ever made with the most star power, and it's still, even as terrible it is, still delivering one of the most disturbing images I've ever seen. I never saw that one. It was really super bad. I saw, what was it? Uh, Cowboys vs. Ninjas or something like that? Cow that Cowboys that was Zero. great. Oh, the ninjas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least those are, yeah, things. <laughs> but yeah, the Aliens one... Like, it, uh, Daniel Craig has all of the charisma of a wooden plank. I don't know why they ever cast him in anything. Yeah. Sometimes you need to build a board. Nice. 100% necessary. <laughs> Like, I don't think, I literally don't think I've put a shield up in, like, five minutes. I'm just using rockets on people. I don't think I, I don't think D.Va had rockets back when this came out, either. Like, Binging. the... Uh, e? What? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, I thought she, well, I don't know. She, she does now, she didn't. Well, she might have a year ago, I forget when they added those. I know that the King's Row one, the one we haven't done yet, the Torbjorn has completely, like, changed since they came out with that one, so it went from, like, ridiculously hard even on some of the normal modes to just really, really cheesing through it even with the ones for the, like, the ones that come with the mode, because Torbjorn just destroys things so much better than he used to. Like, he has so yeah. much more burst with his oh, ultimate. Yeah. There's the heavy. I'm Hello, Hoovy. Hit it with my face. Bootis, bootis, bootis. Yeah, uh, this is also like when um, TF2 got interesting, because when they introduced robot mode. Oh, yeah. Uh, man vs. Machine or whatever it was. Yeah, that was fun for a hot minute. Yeah. I think you can do custom games like that on Overwatch now. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I thought that's, that's what this was. Well, yeah, but you can also make just, like, a regular game, but you're against AI, and you can also, you can do, I mean, they just have that for training, but you can also customize one yourself, and, I, I don't know, like, only play against certain characters or whatever. Like, this mode is only out for the Archives events. They have some other ones like this that are for other holidays or events or whatever, but... I think for, what is it, like, the Blizzard Anniversary, they always have, like, everything available. Hmm. I love when the assassin stuns me and then gets exploded. Alright, extract point. So, Roswell is your number three. Yeah. Alright. My number two. You know, it's gotta be the most ridiculous. Okay. Oh, uh Conspiracy theories are pretty ridiculous. Yeah, but, like, there has not been one so thoroughly debunked as Flat Earth. <laughs> it, was, it was debunked thousands of years ago with basic math and sticks. <laughs> it did not take much. And yeah, here we are. Yeah, here we are. We have YouTubers sailing to all the, the Antarctica to prove the ice wall exists. <laughs> 2019, well, that's really happening. You know, YouTubers will do anything for a buck. Now there's an assassin around. I mean, if someone wants to like pay for that and I like, get some money out of it, I'll I'll take a trip to Antarctica. I'll be the like, assassin, Look, no ice wall. The assassin ran into my trap. That's great. Just sitting in front of me, taking bombs. But 
All right. I forget I don't have double jump. And you can start shooting at the troopers before they disembark. They're not, like, invulnerable or anything until then. Games, I know they do that sort of stuff for some reason. Uh, boats. That's a good start. Uh, okay. I gotta remember what buttons do fucking what. Okay. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can always just even attempt to eat. Not at me. Oh god, Chunky is so fun. But, yeah. Flat Earth. It's ridiculous. You know, you know it's ridiculous. Like, they push their soul, they push themselves so hard trying to make it seem plausible. They even do 90% of the actions of science except for trusting their own results. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, they... God. There's, like, YouTube videos of them, like, Oh, if I do this, it'll, you know, if the Earth is a sphere or around or whatever, this'll happen. And then when the exact thing they said would happen if the Earth was a sphere, they're just, like, flummoxed. But... And then they put it up on YouTube anyway, and it's like, man, why? Yeah, uh, my favorite is a, uh, Flat Earth video who he's, like, so I'm, I'm looking across the bay, and if Earth was round, or if Earth was round, I wouldn't be seeing those buildings because it'd be over the curve of the Earth. But in his own video, you can't see street level on those buildings. Huh. You you just with that uh, uh, right there in his video, Earth is round. All right, and now we do not actually have to kill that guy. We can leave. The oh, okay. are unnecessary. I guess they're to make things difficult if. You're not near the dropship, but only one person has to get on it. Yeah. You want, you want to make eventually you leave. Alright. Good hustle. Mission this one was fun. Eight. I think this is my favorite of of the three. I like it, but like if you're starting to play them and you want to challenge, this one doesn't get especially challenging unless you have like a really bad group until you get, like, a lot harder of a mode. Like, it's fun, but as far as that part goes, it's not my favorite. No, that's fair. Anyway. I think this means next time on Oberon and Empty, Beat Up the Planet, we're gonna do the hard one. Secrets, baby, we